we have to stand up for the anthem here? Or? Yeah, sure. What's <laughs> America? <sighs> All politics aside. <laughs> it's good. And the yeah. home of the taco time. There you go. So you got to choose your teams here. Okay, so. so team one and team oh, two. Oh, hold up. Go on. I don't even know how to choose teams. Hey, why oh, don't you guys should be New York? Oh, oh no, you should be Chicago. But you guys are both big Raptors fans, right? Yeah, but they would obviously they don't have Toronto. <laughs> you know? yeah, maybe they have like the Toronto Huskies. <laughs> how do you? Back in the day, I guess. Well, if this was 1887. Yeah. <laughs> um, go ahead. Oh, we just do it. Yeah, I'll be. Uh, well, I guess I'll be the guy has to shoot every time to change the team. I'll be Chicago. Okay, cool. Let's do it. And then we'll just we'll end and yeah, and all that stuff. So I was gonna ask you what you guys' nicknames are, but you guys already have nicknames. Yeah. So how did you guys get your nicknames then? Who? Uh, who you when Ashley and I first met, oh, that's a deep three. That's like a that was like a <laughs> oh, that was you. That was like a Steph Curry three. When Wait, Ashley and I, I that three from like Lethbridge. How do you switch players? There we go. Twenty six players. Oh, okay. <laughs> Get him. Oh, not about. Yeah, that. that's what I thought. So um, yeah. when Ashley and I first met, mm -hmm. um, he was the ubiquitous uh, synergy seek and Ashley Boo Schultz. B O O dash. Schultz. Yes. So that was already very unique and different. Okay. And then I was garage rapper. Modern NBA got to shoot the three in 1987. <laughs> I had no idea. What I was the uh, garage rapper Cuban Kebab. And it's so it was hilarious because when we became Ubiquitous Synergy Seeker. Yeah. Um, oh! Nice. What? <laughs> uh, radio guys were like, Ashley Boo Schultz and Hubert Kebab, who writes this stuff? It's like, well, we do. <laughs> How do you slam? Oh, oh. oh! <laughs> we wear that short shorts. So uh, you guys met, um, where you guys meet? Like, uh, you guys were working in the same place, right? Yeah, we were working on a golf course uh, in Markham, Ontario, northeast of Toronto. Yeah. And uh, it's funny because I graduated university and I got offered my old job because I couldn't get a job in my field because I had no experience because I just spent the last 23 years of my life in school. Yeah. And then Ash got a job at the golf course in the sermon at banquets because he wanted to reintegrate himself socially. And he just dropped yeah. out of a music program at college. Yeah, I was having a hard time being ex existing. So okay. we, we went to the same place for totally different reasons, but in actuality, we were going to form the band that would change our lives. Wow. Well, yeah, so I need, my sister uh, asked me to get a DJ for her wedding. And then I had heard through the uh, golf vine. <laughs> the golf Just, vine. Oh, 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 he missed oh, you it. Missed it. Did you I did it? Wicked. Did I get a rebound? Okay. Yeah, so yeah. you heard through the golf vine. So I heard it through the golf vine that yeah. there was a enormous weirdo with a, great, with a great haircut and a knack for spinning records. Yeah. And um, I got his number. And uh, then we spent the weekend. The, the cottage was on an I my It was at my cottage and it was on an island. So we spent the weekend just being really dumb yeah. with music. <laughs> and uh, and it seemed oh, nice. it just, yeah. Wow. It, it was very natural. And um, what, type, what kind of tunes did you spin at the, the wedding? Uh, first of all, it was all on vinyl. Oh, which is a rarity nowadays. Wow, uh, but it was everything from this like, is before vinyl was cool, right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, when yeah. You, you paid ninety nine cents at a garage sale because they were like, "Get this out of my face! I don't want Millie Vanilli on my property anymore." Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, uh, Guns and Roses, Millie Vanilli, uh, Fine Young Cannonballs, oh, nice. In Excess. Wow, you got everything. Speaking yeah. of Cannonballs, oh, that was nice. <laughs> What is this? Let, um, now do you guys get three memberships at this golf course now since you've been no. there? No. Funny enough, we haven't. Neither one of us has been back formally since the band uh, became a thing. You know what I remember when I worked there? Blue Rodeo played at like a charity event at for, the golf course. At the golf course, oh. and I remember I was wearing my server outfit. I was like 26, working with like 15 year olds. It was hilarious. <laughs> and um, nice. Um, I re I walked by one of the. Uh, the uh, guitar players and I was like, oh, so I'm like, sir, I, I gotta tell you, um, lost together. I'm like, that, that's one of my favorite songs of all time. Song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He didn't stop walking and he goes, I hate that. <laughs> <laughs> also, why did I shoot that like <laughs> Kyle Lowry? And I was just like, I was just like, man, I hope that I never be like shatter. 
a, you know, an out of place twenty six year old's yeah. dreams. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was a big, that was a big slam. <laughs> if they come up to you and say, "Oh man, I love you know like, Hollow Point or whatever," yeah, I, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like what? So, gee, now if you take a listen to the lots together now, or is that different now? Because well, I mean, you under or? you understand, you know, when. Uh, <laughs> You know, if someone gets a repetitive use injury like carpal tunnel on their hand, they might have a disdain for computers. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So if somebody, uh, if someone has to play their hit song forever, and it's the only, you know, they, mm-hmm. they might, they might tire of it, the yeah. experience of it. That's why I quite enjoy having, um, you know, um, borderline amnesia. <laughs> so uh, what's your like the gold? You know, the goldfish memory. They only remember yeah. like the last thirty seconds is pretty much what their entire life has been. Yeah. I have a similar like experience as a human. So this this career lends itself nicely to that disposition, because there's a lot of repetition, but it always feels new. She would be living like that too, too, to live in the 30 second in the goldfish, goldfish mo- Buddha moment. Yeah, the Buddha goldfish going, bowl. Yeah, I I think so. I spend a lot of time in monasteries, so. Um, oh, dude! Whoa, oh that's my god! It was like it's out of the it went out of the screen. <laughs> That's as you asked him about the universe. Because <laughs> you guys have been together for now a decade. Yes. Yes. Like, what's your uh, advice and, you know, to... Because you guys are brothers now, basically, right? Or... I think that, like, one of the true advantages that we've had is that, A, we've both been driven by the same desire to just want to uh, perform and make music and, and oh. uh, please ourselves but make people happy. Yeah. And travel. Yeah. Make new experiences and friends. Oh, nice halftime show. This is great, yeah. Oh, it's the, the Wait, hold on. What are they playing? It's the, bitty, bitty. <laughs> it's the late show. <laughs> What's up, Beaches? <laughs> it's been many years since we used to play shows together. Now you guys are doing arenas. Congratulations. <laughs> Hanging out with Sir Elton John and Dave Grohl. And what is that blue thing? That looks like, 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 like the taco time Whoa, cactus. Here. Taco that's time a, cactus with hypothermia. Yeah, that's exactly <laughs> what you were saying. Oh, uh, just said yeah. like, um, I mean, obviously a shared passion and desire to want to travel and, um, you know, experience the highs and lows of what it means to be in a band. Like mm-hmm. it's not, it's not the glossiest. Oh, are we switching different? Are we going different ways now? Um, but uh, I mean, no, Ash I, and I, I, I couldn't figure it still out. Still on the back pass earlier. Okay. Ash yeah. and I started out as um, co-workers that just wanted to make music, and like we never really knew each other. Like I think a lot of bands, um, they start out, you know, in the same high school or the same college. They're they're actual like friends, and like Ooh. Ash and I have kind of evolved in a friendship over the years. Yeah. But it's funny because it was band first, friendship second. Wow. Whereas like I feel like when you hear horror stories about a lot of bands. It's because uh, in, in a lot of cases, it's like they started too young, yeah. they were friends first, but then the friendship went sour when they started traveling the world together. Uh, we've been very fortunate to experience the opposite. Wow. Has there ever been moments where it's been close on? Going separate well, we actually did go our separate ways hmm. um, in um, 2006. And oh, early on. Yeah, it's just because we knew uh, we knew that we weren't prepared as individuals to, like, we knew that we had to sharpen our, with, subconsciously I think we knew that we had to do that. Jay yeah. got a, Jay came out and worked on the pipeline and really learned how to make music on a computer. Oh, okay. That kind of forced isolation. I thought you meant like an oil pipeline. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah, at Fort McMurray, oh, Cold Lake. So he was up there and then I was just like living at monasteries and trying to figure out how to become well adjusted and manageable because oh, it's, damn it. it's one thing uh, it's one thing to have uh, talent yeah. and then it's another thing to be uh, be able to work cooperatively and be a manageable well adjusted person that can you know huh. be reliable and dependable and uh, uh, give me the three so how long you guys were apart then until you realized that uh, back until so spring of 2007 yeah and then we didn't really start giving it a go until that summer with our first EP, Welcome to Sea Drive. And then when Hollow Point Cyber Hyperbole, our first single, started getting played on the radio, even in Alberta, yeah. that's when we were like, okay, now this is a real thing. Mm. Like, we're not just playing in Toronto on Queen Street West. Like, we, um, we've we got to travel now. We have an agent, we have management, we have a publicist. Yeah. 
um, art, we're getting articles written on us. We're visiting radio stations. It's You're like, playing double dribble. That's right. <laughs> on a Thursday afternoon <laughs> in the mountain standard no, time zone. Time. Yes, exactly. So wow. that's that's where for us it's 2008 to 2018. It's been 10 years. Yeah. Um, because that's you know like to us it was like okay hollow points on the radio. We are officially now. A Does that still band. throw you to hear that song on the radio? Like, uh, did I go back to that moment when you first heard your song on the radio for the first time? Like, One of the first times I heard it, I was still roofing. Ooh. Yeah. And it was on the radio yeah, yeah. at work because we listened to 102.1 The Edge at work. Yeah. And I remember I was halfway up the ladder with a 90 pound <laughs> bundle of shingles on my arm. <laughs> And my boss yelled at me to get back to work because I stopped for a second to listen to my own song yeah. and have a moment of like vindication. <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, okay. So he was I, like, get back to work. <laughs> actually, if I remember, if I recall, I had just been away on a monastic retreat, and he his actual words were, "Hey Buddha, get back to work." Wow. <laughs> <laughs> and you did. You became the employee of the month. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The employee of infinity. <laughs> infinity. Uh, just, I'll finish this uh, sentence here. Oh. At, at the end of the day, if yeah. you fill in the blank, at the end of the day, what would you fill in? At the end of the day, what would you say? At the end of the day, never stop trusting yourself. Wow. How so? How come? Um, because there's no such thing as right or wrong. There's only what you you know right before you go to bed and right before you wake right when you wake up in the morning and right before you go to bed you know what's right or wrong and only you know that so yeah. you got to trust yourself you learned that at your job or at monastery yes yes no three pointer sorry <laughs> <laughs> i thought you were talking you're listening to him but wow yeah i i, I understand what ash means because mm. like that it's kind of you have to unpack that statement a little bit because <laughs> it means also uh yeah be true to yourself but Trusting yourself means if you set your intentions, like we all we wanted to do was make music that we were excited about, that we knew we could pull off, and it was fun, and we felt like no one had ever made that music before. Mm -hmm. And because we believed that intention, you know, when we got in the studio when Ash was <laughs> when Ash was finishing off our first record, we saw the experiment all the way through, and then what do you know, the song gets played on the radio. Yeah. We trusted our intentions. Yeah. Proud one. There you go. I know. Uh, I guess an eight bit roll that doesn't really count. <laughs> Raptors win the uh They won last night. No, are they gonna win the whole thing? Um we're just hoping that they get to the finals. Yeah. That would be a what? first in <laughs> Raptors <laughs> franchise history. Has anyone hit a three ball in this game? I've hit like four. What? Yeah, you know, look at the scoreboard, bud. <laughs> you know what? Screw the show. Screw the show tonight. You can just like play this. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go play ball at both. <laughs> just just watch double dribble. They just want like we're the most like egotistical, self-centered band ever. It's like, no, watch us play NBA 8-bit with Rick Lee <laughs> from X. I bet you they would still. They, they actually would. would. Okay. Well, because then they would know for sure that you would have a drone camera floating over the entire venue. Yeah, well, thanks, guys. Good drone. Thank you. Yeah, that's it. Look at that. Who is that? I have no clue. Uncle. Ah. Holy, holy in the Bible? Holy in the Bible. <laughs>